Welcome to Maths Companion. In the last video, we have learned how to convert fractions into decimals. We have learned how to convert fractions with a denominator 10 or powers of 10 into decimals. We have also seen that some other fractions with the denominators other than 10 or powers of 10 can also be converted into decimals. Have you noticed anything about those denominators? We have converted fractions with denominators 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. into decimals. These are all powers of 2 or the only factor they have is 2 may be repeated so many times. That is 4 equal to 2 square, 2 repeated 2 times, 8 equal to 2 cube, 2 repeated 3 times and so on. So these numbers can be converted into a power of 10 by multiplying by suitable powers of 5. That is 2 into 5 is 10, 2 square into 5 square is 10 square, 2 cube into 5 cube is 10 cube etc. We have also converted fractions with the denominators 5, 25, 125 etc. These are all powers of 5 or the only factor they have is 5 may be repeated so many times. That is 25 equal to 5 square, 5 repeated 2 times. 125 equal to 5 cube, 5 repeated 3 times. Therefore, these numbers can be converted into a power of 10 by multiplying with suitable powers of 2. That is 5 square into 2 square is 10 square, 5 cube into 2 cube is 10 cube and so on. Then we have converted fractions with the denominators 20, 40, 80, 160 etc. into decimals. Are they powers of 2? No. Are they powers of 5? No. But when you check the factors of these numbers, you can see one thing that the prime factors of these numbers are 2 and 5 only. That is, 20 is 4 into 5, but 4 is not a prime. It can again be factorized as 2 into 2. Therefore, we can say 20 equal to 2 square into 5. Similarly, 40 equal to 2 cube into 5, 80 equal to 2 raised to 4 into 5, etc. They can also be converted into a power of 10 by multiplying with suitable powers of 2 or 5. The prime factors of 10 are 2 and 5 only. Therefore, any number which has only prime factors 2 or 5 can be converted into a power of 10. And factors with such numbers as denominators can easily be converted into decimals. Now what about the fractions in which the denominator is other than these numbers as factors? Today we are going to discuss the next part, new forms, in which we are going to learn how to convert fractions with such denominators into decimals. Let us start with the problem, find the decimal form of 1 by 3. Here 3 is not a factor of 10. So we cannot get a power of 10 by multiplying 3 with any number. But we can find fractions with denominator a power of 10 closer to 1 by 3. For that, let me multiply both numerator and denominator by 10. So we can write it as 1 into 10 divided by 3 into 10. Now let me make a small arrangement. Let me take 10 and 3 together, 10 by 3 and this 1 and 10 together. So we can write it as 10 by 3 into 1 by 10. Now 10 by 3 is an improper fraction. Let me convert that into a mixed fraction. How can we do that? For that let me divide 10 by 3. We know 3 3's are 9 and 1 remainder. Therefore, the mixed fraction of 10 by 3 is 
3 1 by 3. We know 3 1 by 3 is equal to 3 plus 1 by 3. So, we can write 10 by 3 as 3 plus 1 by 3. Therefore, this is equal to 3 plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 10. Now, both these terms should be multiplied by 1 by 10. 3 into 1 by 10 is 3 by 10 plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 10. 1 into 1 is 1, 3 into 10 is 30. So, that is equal to 1 by 30. Now, let me take this 3 by 10 on the other side of the equation and I can write it as 1 by 3 minus 3 by 10 equal to 1 by 30. Now, we know the decimal form of 3 by 10 is 0.3. So, we can write it as 1 by 3 minus 0.3 equal to 1 by 30. What does it mean? 1 by 30 means it is a very small number. Suppose we take a cake and make that into 30 equal pieces. Then one piece is 1 by 30. That means it is very small. So here the difference between 1 by 3 and 0.3 is 1 by 30 means the difference between 1 by 3 and 0.3 is very small. That means 0.3 is very close to 1 by 3. Even though 1 by 3 is not equal to 0.3, it is very close to 0.3. Now we can find a fraction of denominator 100 which is close to 1 by 3. For that, let me multiply both numerator and denominator by 100. And as we have seen earlier, let me take like this 100 by 3 into 1 by 100. Now 100 by 3 is an improper fraction. We can convert that into a mixed fraction. For that we can divide 100 by 3. 3 3s are 9. One remainder. Put the 0. Then again 3 3s are 9. And one remainder. Therefore 100 by 3 equal to 33 1 by 3 or 33 plus 1 by 3. So, we can write it as 33 plus 1 by 3 into 1 by 100. Now, let us multiply each term by 1 by 100. 33 into 1 by 100 is 33 by 100 and 1 by 3 into 1 by 100 is 1 by 300. Now, let me take 33 by 100 on the other side. So, I can write it as 1 by 3 minus 33 by 100 equal to 1 by 300. The decimal form of 33 by 100 is 0.33. So, we can write it as 1 by 3 minus 0.33 equal to 1 by 300. See, 1 by 300 is still smaller. Means, take a cake, make 300 equal pieces. Earlier we have made only 30 equal pieces and 1 out of 300 pieces means it is still smaller. That means 0.33 is closer to 1 by 3 than 0.3. Again 1 by 3 is not equal to 0.33 but it is very close to 0.33 and it is closer than 0.3. So, we got another decimal which is closer to 1 by 3. Now, we can find a fraction of denominator 1000 which is closer to 1 by 3. For that, let me multiply numerator and denominator by 1000. And as we have seen earlier, this can be written as 1000 by 3 into 1 by 1000. Now, 1000 by 3 is an improper fraction. Convert that into a mixed fraction. For that, divide 1000 by 3. 3 3s are 9. One remainder. Put the zeros. Again, 3 3s are 9. One remainder. Put the zero. 3 3s are 9. And one remainder. So, we can write 
थाउजेंड बाय थ्री एस थ्री थर्टी थ्री वन बाय थ्री और थ्री थर्टी थ्री प्लस वन बाय थ्री सो वी कैन राइट इट एस थ्री थर्टी थ्री प्लस वन बाय थ्री इनटू वन बाय थाउजेंड नो लेट अस मल्टीप्लाई बोथ दिस नंबर्स बाय वन बाय थाउजेंड थ्री थर्टी थ्री इनटू वन बाय थाउजेंड इज थ्री थर्टी थ्री बाय थाउजेंड and 1 by 3 into 1 by 1000 is 1 by 3000 let us take 333 by 1000 on the other side so we can write it as 1 by 3 minus 333 by 1000 equal to 1 by 3000 the decimal form of 333 by 1000 is 0.333 so we can write it as 1 by 3 minus 0.333 equal to 1 by 3000 1 by 3000 is smaller than 1 by 300 take a kick make 3000 equal pieces and take one piece that one piece is 1 by 3000 that means it is still smaller that means 0.333 is still closer to 1 by 3 than 0.33 so we got A decimal form which is closer to one by three than the decimal forms which we have seen earlier. So we got one by three minus point three is one by thirty. One by three minus point three three is one by three hundred. One by three minus point three 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 is one by three thousand. Now without calculating, we can write one by three minus point three 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 is 1 by 30000 so we can see when we go downwards the difference becomes smaller and smaller 1 by 300 is smaller than 1 by 30 and 1 by 3000 is again smaller than 1 by 300 and 1 by 30000 is still smaller than 1 by 3000 that means 0.33 is Closer to one by three than point three, and point three 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 is still closer to one by three than point three three, and point three 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 is still closer to one by three than point three three three. So we can say point three, point three three, point three three three, etc. Get closer and closer to one by three. If you increase the number of threes, it gets Closer and closer to one by three. So we can say the decimal form of one by three is point three 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 etc. Remember, three is never ending; it is not terminating. This decimal form is quite different from the decimal forms which we have seen earlier. Here, three is never ending point three 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 etc. It is not the decimal form of a fraction. the denominator a power of 10 it indicates a fraction which is approached closer and closer by a stream of fractions with denominators powers of 10 this fraction is 1 by 3 so we say that the decimal form of 1 by 3 is 0.333 etc today we have learned how to convert 1 by 3 into decimal form Now there is a homework. Find the decimal form of two by three. In the next video, we shall see the remaining part of this lesson. Till then, bye.